President Trump just tweeting, billionaire tech investor Peter Thiel believes Google should be investigated for treason. He accuses Google of working with the Chinese government. Um, I don't even know what that is. Uh, Fox? I don't know. Anyway, uh, a great guy, uh, a great and brilliant guy who knows this subject better than anyone in the Trump administration. This is the, quest, uh, the sentence that sort we'll of got take my a look. The Trump administration will take a look. Now, Trump loves Peter Thiel, I'm sure, because Peter was like the only guy in the from, entire from state. Silicon Valley, right? Yeah, the, the entire state of California that, uh, that was a Trump supporter to some extent. So uh, anyway, check out the shares of Google down about less than 1% right. at this point. Some of it's already in the stock, and I guess we knew this was happening yeah. kind of already. But uh, right. just more when I it comes to all of this investigation and what's let, going let, to happen in the regulatory Let's side. bring Ed Lee, New York Times, a corporate media reporter, CNBC contributor, of course. John Stahl from the Wall Street Journal, a columnist there. I want to bring both of you into this conversation uh, about privacy, about tech. And let's talk about Peter Thiel right now and what this, what, what this means. Uh, Peter Thiel has not offered evidence. No, he's not being substantive or specific yet, but yeah, he, came, out he came out over the weekend and effectively said that Google is working with the Chinese. It's sort of um, an ironic thing to say in large part because Google was one of the first companies, uh, tech companies, to effectively say, right. you know what, actually on a principal basis, we don't want to actually do business with the Chinese. They then at some point decided, well, maybe we should try to think about it. We'll work how, with them to figure out how, to we, figure could out how we can, but product. then uh, so far haven't. Right. So what do you think this is about? Well, I, it sounds like that there's something he knows something that the rest of us don't. If he does, he should all in on it. I think the other context, though, is we should be aware. You know, this, you know, he's he's has close ties to Facebook. You know, he's Facebook, on the board of Facebook. Is, he's on the board of Facebook. It's the one, you know, between Facebook and Google, this long-standing rivalry. Facebook is nowhere near China, and they're not going to get into China anytime soon. So. But you're not you're not suggesting that that Mark Zuckerberg is whispering in his ear, saying, "Go out there and tell the world that it's actually Google. It's Google and China." No, I'm not suggesting that at all because I don't know that for a fact. Right. But you know, it, that's the context. John, what do you think of this? It, it's just it's it's the news of the day. I mean, it's been expedient to kind of take these tech com companies out <clears throat> in this uh, political environment, and uh, yeah, there's there's really no evidence behind it. And uh, like uh, it had is said, there no is, evidence behind it? Or no evidence that we know about that we know yet? of that we know. I mean, there's okay. nothing public that we can really comment and speculate on other than there's there's probably more to come uh, if if this tweet storm's beginning, but. Uh, uh, just not enough information to really understand uh, what's behind it. 